Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Book two, unit twelve, future with will, may, and might. Dear students, in this unit we'll practice about future with future tense with will, may, and might. Okay. Let's look at the objectives of this unit. So, after completing this unit, you will be able to have knowledge of using future tense with will, may, and might, and use present tense with verbs, okay? Use present tense verbs with future meaning, okay? Let's now move to the lesson. You can use will, okay, to give facts or predictions about future, okay? Like we use will, and uh, as we discussed before, will uh, uh, means is a kind of helping verb. We can use it as helping verb, okay, and as a model. So, will we can use will to give facts or predictions about future, like what's going to happen in future. It will be expensive to travel around Europe, okay. It will be expensive to travel around Europe. So this shows uh, facts as well as predictions. The baby will keep us busy. Okay, so this give us about future prediction. The baby will keep us busy. I will be 65 in June. Okay, so this is a fact about future. It won't be easy to find a job. Okay, so this also gives prediction about future. Now, this is the contraction I'll for I will, won't for will not. Okay, now this is just a note for you. Avoid will to talk about plans or decision already made. Okay. If you have already made a plan, then there's no need to use will. You can use the present continuous or going to. Okay, I am going to join the medical course next semester. Okay, I am going to Europe next year. I am going to visit Paris. So, if you have already made your plan, then there's no need to use will. Let's do some more practice. Now, in complex sentences, okay, in complex sentences about the future, use the simple present after if, when, after, and before. Okay, what are you going to do when you graduate? If I get good grades, I may go to school. Okay, so use simple present after if, when, after, and before. If I get good grades, I may go to law school. My parents will be disappointed if I don't go into law. After I graduate, I will be able to work in their firm. I need to decide before I go on vacation this summer. Now, you can use may and might to show you are not 100% sure about the future. Okay, that means we use it for possibility. Okay, may and might, we use it for possibility. Okay, maybe or may not be. So, when you're not 100% sure about the future, I may go on for a master's degree. Okay, I may go on for a master's degree. I might not be able to afford it. Okay, now what's the difference between may and might? May and might, both of them show possibility. Okay, but in may, the possibility is more. Okay, might, the possibility is less. Okay, we will probably take some time off from work. Maybe 
we will move to Jeddah. Use will for expressions like I guess, I think, maybe, and probably. Okay. Well, uh, probably take some time off. We will probably take some time off from work. Maybe we will move to Jeddah. Okay. So this is all in Unit 2. Uh, unit 12 book 2 hope you have enjoyed your grammar lesson hope you have learned interesting ideas and you have learned the practical usage of the grammar uh, grammar in your course and you would have greatly benefited from this thank you all for being with me have a nice day see you next time